So when I say I lost respect for him, it's because I did. Giving you my honest opinion. Coach Greg, and today I'm responding to Remington James' response to me. So in the previous video, he said, time to end this. The video was called No More Drama. So in that video, there was no drama. He didn't talk about anything. Well, other than promoting his bar, I believe it was four times throughout the video. It was basically an ad, but it was no more drama. And in the video, one or two times he said, buy my freaking cookbook. Buy my freaking cookbook. And do I care about saying that? No, him saying my catchphrase literally promotes me. It's like when I say, it doesn't matter. That promotes The Rock every single time. It promotes The Rock. So I don't care if Remington James is saying my phrases, it doesn't matter. Buy my freaking cookbook. So I then did a honest review of his protein bars. Not libel as someone suggested, an honest review, no lies. Nothing stretching the truth, 100% factual. And so Remington watched the video, didn't like it. So here's his response video, which I'm going to respond to in kind. And all these uh, videos that come out, the drama stuff, it's fun to watch, it's good entertainment, but let me tell you, when the spotlight's on you and you're in the hot seat, it loses all its luster. So yeah, have I ever been in the hot seat? If you watch my channel, you know I've been in the hot seat more than on one occasion. And how you handle yourself in that situation tells you a lot about your character. Greg just dropped a video basically trashing the Anna bar, saying my apology was BS, saying he lost all respect for me. Um, there's probably some more stuff in there. I literally just watched it. So he says I trashed his apology that it was BS and was it? Well, did you watch the apology? Did you see how it was a sorry, not sorry apology with the icing on the cake being he later then posted Connor Murphy's famous catchphrase, I'd like to apologize for absolutely nobody. Connor Murphy? No, his catchphrase is divine protein shake. So he then later shared Connor McGregor's catchphrase saying mood and it said, I'd like to apologize to absolutely nobody. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Does that sound like somebody who's regretful, remorseful, or that cares about what's done? Does that sound like somebody who took ownership of what he did? And a bar. So Greg said that our calories are too high. It's a junk bar. Um, you know, he imagines it tastes good, but everything else about it is pretty bad. He would never, ever recommend it. No, I literally said, I bet it tastes amazing and that it's good for bulking. Does that sound like said it not recommended? Said it's great for bulking. To put on weight, it's high calorie dense foods. If you need energy, great bar. It's an amazing product if you're looking to bulk. You're looking for high calorie dense foods? You wanna bulk up? Here's a great bar. For people out there having a hard time to get in the extra calories that they need, it's a great bar. So do I recommend it for dieting? Would I eat it personally? No, I would not. But if somebody said, I'm having a hard time putting on weight, I need extra calories, I need a snack, it's high calories, I can get down, it tastes amazing. Should I in fact have Remington's bar? Yes. So does that sound like someone that said, never buy the bar? Or does that sound like somebody giving an honest review of a bar, an honest critique? There's something called freedom of speech and within that, you're actually allowed to honestly say if something tastes good or doesn't taste good and if you recommend it to certain people. You're allowed. I did that. And he was also sure to let you know that he's got a bar dropping in six months that is gonna be all of the things that the Anabar isn't. So do I specifically target competitors to make them look bad? Or do I in fact give honest reviews? Well, let's take the pre-workout gorilla mode from Derek Plates for dates, more plates, more dates. Several months ago, I did a review, gave it a great rating, recommended it, liked it. And even more recently, during a video where I was talking about Anthony Mantello, I had literally a glass of his pre-workout gorilla mode and said, it's amazing, it's great. I'm drinking it, I'm going to do a bike race, of which I placed in the top 10 out of 200 riders. So does that sound like somebody that's putting down another competitor? Did I say Derek's pre-workout sucks because I'm going to be in direct competition with them? Direct competition, pre-workout for pre-workout. But yet I said, go buy his pre-workout because it's good. 
Does that sound like somebody who just shits on other companies? Or does it sound like somebody who gives an honest review? If you made a great product, I'm gonna say it's great. If it's shit, I'm going to say it's shit. I have integrity. I'm going to tell you my honest opinion, even if it costs me money. Even though a lot of people are gonna buy Derek's pre-workout instead of mine, it doesn't matter. Buy my freaking cookbook. What matters is that I'm honest and I give you a real review. Not gonna say it doesn't taste good, doesn't work, if it is good and it does work. I want you guys to know that uh, even though Greg appears to hate my guts and he wants to take away everything that I've built, I still have a uh, mad respect for the man. I'm not the one taking away anything that he built. He's doing it to himself. He's the one choosing to make sorry not sorry apologies posting Conor McGregor videos. He's the one choosing to sell the Anabar. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm allowed to make my review. So Greg, if you are watching this, I'm sorry for disappointing you. I really am. So his apology right now literally has more meaning than his previous apology. Why couldn't he make a meaningful apology to the others? Why then does he go and block exercise for cheats and now the iron musket? Why would he do that? With the ultimate goal being to get these into big box stores, get them into like HEBs and Walmarts, obviously, you know, we're shooting for the moon on this. So is there anything wrong with Remington trying to make a mass market appealing product that he can sell in Walmart to most people? No, of course not. I'm simply saying if you're trying to lose weight, that eating a bar that's a high calorie dense food, that's the opposite of what me and Remington promote in our cookbooks and videos, it's not going to help you make it easier to lose weight. It's not the kind of bar that I would recommend to dieters or people trying to maintain a lower weight to eat. But if you're trying to get more calories or if you're on the go, you need a lot of quick energy, why not use the bar? It's an honest review. Just like I would say, no, it's probably a bad decision to drink Derek's pre-workout before bed because it'll make it harder to sleep. Do you see the analogy? Consuming this protein bar simply makes it harder to lose weight for most people because it's high calorie dense foods. It's a lot of calories in a small serving and it's not gonna keep you full. And last I checked, I've read a lot of comments, something about Remington James has added 10 pounds since getting the Anabar because it tastes so good. So I've had people write in and say, I'm eating the Anabar, I don't like the macros, there's so many calories and it's not keeping me full for the amount of calories I'm getting. Compare eating a little bar, 275 calories, to a protein ice cream shake, 275 calories, or a wrap that has 275 calories, or a salad, or anything for that matter, that's larger and has more fiber. The Anabar, two grams of fiber. So I just disagree on its usefulness to help with weight loss. Like if I pull up a Quest bar right here, which one is this? We're looking at that one, chocolate peanut butter right there. This bar has 10 fat, 22 carbs, 20 grams of protein, but only 210 calories. Now, if you know how to do math, you understand that something's wrong here. How can our bars only have like one more gram of fat and a couple more grams of carbs, but be that many calories more? Well, the well Remington, I can tell you exactly why. Because in a Quest bar, they use soluble corn syrup. Years ago, they used to use IMO syrup and in 2016, they switched over to the soluble corn syrup, which has fewer calories, it's fiber. Have you not watched my videos on fiber? Fiber doesn't always have four calories per gram. Some have zero calories, some have two calories, they vary in calories. So when some of the carbs are actually fiber calories, they have fewer calories. So that's how. So Remington, if I make a bar that has allulose sugar instead of regular sugar or honey, it's going to have 10% of the calories of the sugar or honey. Because one gram of carb has four calories and one gram of allulose has 0.4 calories. So that is how you can make a lower calorie protein bar as an alternative to a higher calorie one, such as the one that you have. Also, if it's not sweet enough and use erythritol, it only has 0.24 calories per gram. A quarter calorie per gram versus four, that's 160 the calories. So rather than putting in a ton of sugar, 16 grams, I believe, was what was in your bar. So if you use artificial sweetener instead of the 16 grams of sugar that's in your bar, you can save on a lot of calories. But I understand you're trying to mass market this for Walmart and appeal to more people and so you can't make it low in calories. 
but you called it the Anabar, and my opinion, that's my opinion, is it's not good for dieting, and it just doesn't go along with the anabolic diet, which I always say, bring it into the circle. If it's got a lot of calories, lower the fat and sugar, perhaps make it lower in calories. If it's lower in calories, it's going to help you to lose weight or maintain the weight you've lost because it makes it easier to not eat a calorie surplus. And so yes, of course, CECO applies calories in, calories out. But if you add in the Anabar, it may in fact make it harder to eat in a calorie deficit. It's a high calorie dense food, not low calorie dense. It's not as filling. It's not going to fill up your stomach. It's not voluminous eating, which is what we promote. And so when you say, is it about calories in, calories out? I said, yes, of course it is. That's why we created our cookbooks to give people lower calorie alternatives to make it easier to lose weight, to make it easier to be in a deficit. So when you create an Anabar that's high in calories, higher in calories than most protein bars that people are eating for weight loss, you're doing the opposite of what we suggest to do with calories in, calories out. You're creating a bar that's higher in calories, which makes it easier to be in the calorie surplus. Does it make sense now? Now, I understand fiber, insoluble over soluble. I think they even have in here erythritol. Some people say there's no calories in that. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know about any of that. I don't know, guys. Some people say there's no calories in erythritol. I, I don't know, guys. I know. Do I look like somebody that doesn't understand this? When I tell you that I really understand this and I've been studying it for years, and when I say I have a master's degree in kinesiology, it's because it gave me the education to be able to learn all these things. It's not easy. Remington doesn't know. He hasn't researched it. I have. Urethritol, 0.24 calories per gram. Carbs, four calories per gram. Fiber can have zero calories. Zeno. It can. There's soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. There's various forms of fiber that you can put in a protein bar. Quit years ago, Quest got into trouble. They used a fiber that wasn't really a fiber. They had to relabel it. They since took that fiber out and used a different one. They changed the recipe, changed it up. So you can't just say Quest got it all wrong and we're honest, we have integrity. You can actually make your bar lower in calories if you put in the artificial sweeteners or various forms of fiber. You can, in fact, do that. You don't have to. You want to appeal to the mass market to go into Walmart. That is fine. But this is not the kind of bar you want to eat on a diet if your goal is to lose weight and you're struggling with being full. That is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's my opinion and mine alone. You can agree or disagree. You can make a video saying you disagree and that's fine and you can buy the product if you want or not buy. I'm not saying don't buy the product. I'm saying what it's good for and what it's not good for based on my opinion. I don't subtract fiber out. That has been a rule of thumb on my diet in forever. So his rule of thumb where he's not subtracting fiber well, you actually can, depending on what fiber is being used. And I want to say, I want to say, don't quote me on this, but I think I learned that from Greg, but I could be entirely wrong. So yeah, he didn't learn that from Greg. He is entirely wrong. So in my head, when I look at these bars, I'm seeing like 20, 30 more calories in a Quest bar. In my head, that is what I am seeing. So in his own opinion, Quest bar has 20 or 30 calories more than it actually has. That's fine. But even if it does, let's assume it does. His bar is still way higher in calories. It's still way higher in calories. Greg is a big proponent of uh, CICO, calories in versus calories out. So technically, wouldn't it be fine if you just ate under your uh, calorie limits? Did I ever say that CECO doesn't work, that you can break the laws of thermodynamics? I literally say, as long as you're in a deficit, you're going to lose weight. Never said you can't lose weight if you eat this bar. Said it makes it harder because it's a high calorie dense food. Said that in hundreds of videos. So it's nothing new. It's, some, it's not some new attack. So you can't just say, well, it's calories in, calories out. So you can buy the Anabar and it helps you lose weight. Doesn't make sense. You know what, Greg? I'm a little disappointed in you. I really am. You didn't even text me and ask for like maybe, hey, this looks really, really bad, Remington. Can you explain this to me a little bit? Instead, you just made a video. So did I not talk with Remington? Is that what he's saying? That we didn't talk back and forth? That we didn't text? Well, I'm not going to share the entire conversation, but I'll read a little bit. Just enough to say, did I in fact talk with him? 
Let's see. Remington James. Thanks for the advice, man. You are so right. Gonna film a video and just be honest. You still inspire the hell out of me, man. Sucks I feel like I let you down. Does that sound like I didn't give him any advice that I didn't talk to him? And what did I respond and tell him after that? I'm just going to share a part of it, not the whole conversation. It's private. I would say that saying in a video that you feel like you let people down, or even better, saying I realize that I've let people down would come across quite well. And really, people that can't look past somebody that can admit a mistake are just haters anyway. They're just looking for some reason to hate. When you're open about things and honest, and you take responsibility for things, how can people say anything? And then what does he do? A sorry, not sorry apology, saying, oh, it happened years ago. And then later posts, Con McGregor, I'd like to apologize for absolutely nobody. Does that sound like he took my advice? So when I say I lost respect for him, it's because I did. Giving you my honest opinion. I'm honest, I have integrity. Not going to pretend not going to lie. This is my honest opinion, my honest review. And if you don't like it, well, you're probably a fan of Remington and I don't blame you. Why would you like it? But my honest opinion is this is not a anabolic lifestyle type of a bar. One that's lower in calories that you can bring into the circle. So what would I do? If I was someone, I would take his protein bar. Instead of peanut butter, maybe use powdered peanut butter, remove some of the fat. Instead of all the sugar, maybe use erythritol. Maybe add in some fiber like Quest does. Keep it lower in calories. Then resell it and say, hey, it's the light version of the Anabar. The light version for people who don't care about the fake sugars and want to lose weight. Sound like a good business model for you in the future? Maybe you could take my advice at a bar light. Ending it here. Gregusette.com for coaching. Gregusette IP Pro. Bloops are over there. Don't forget to buy my freaking cookbooks. Plural. Got more than one. And until next time, I'm out. Then you can eat it. Help you go on.